Today I got something. Could be the most important 24 hours of your life. You ever heard this poem right here? The road less traveled? Two paths meet in the woods. And he took the path that was less trodden. And it made all the difference in his life. This is what I'm talking about today. But I want to talk about some practical stuff, but never forget that poem. That's a good one to remember. You should memorize Rudyard Kipling's If and Robert Frost's The Road Not Taken. The roads meet, and most everybody goes that way, and a few people go this way. But everything you want is right here. Exclamation. Everything you don't want is right there, but humans are sheep. And I'm going to be talking about making money, financial planning, growing your income. I've been doing a series on this for the last five days, and it's coming to an end here. Uh, a few of you already have started taking this path. The wide path right here, man, people get lost. Right now, the average person in the world, depending on their age, um, doesn't have enough money to miss one paycheck. Especially in the United States. You saw the government shut down. People don't even have enough money. One paycheck. I'm actually going to ask you this. A hundred bucks to the first person I see who answers this. I'm going to be giving away like 1100 bucks. Uh, sorry, a thousand bucks I'm going to do. 1100 was the other night. A thousand bucks. A hundred bucks first. How much savings do people have on average, like what percentage, if they make a grand, I mean 10 grand a month, on average how much do they save in the United States? By the way, I'm down here in my basement. I've got a house outside of New York City that I come to to get away from the crowd, so I'm down here. This is my gym. It's easier to set up the live streaming. Somebody said three grand. Somebody said, Ty, I'm sorry, my older brother had my phone and put that racist comment in. I didn't even see it, so don't worry. 5%, 2%, 1%. Let's pull it up right here. USA average household savings. What do we got? 2018, the first statistic, CS CNBC. Not sure we could trust them, but let's just say we could. $11,000 the average family has. And 29% of families, what in the world, have less than $1,000. That's crazy. Now, this article doesn't have what I wanted, but, man, they're trying hard, aren't they, to make money. CNBC, you got your logic all wrong. Savings, let me put rate. Percentage. Who knows this? 100 bucks. Okay. I see it on the screen. I'm going to see if I see anybody who did it. I'm looking on Instagram. Nobody yet. I see some close. Somebody said $400. It's percentage. For every $1,000, $100, million, dollars, 100000 Someone said 5%. 28%? You're getting colder. 2%, you're getting warmer. 12%, colder again. It's actually up here on, can they see this screen? Yeah. I put it up on the screen. Dum dum. Look right here. It's on the screen. <laughs> Maybe people can't see this screen. You sure they can see this screen? Yeah, but they can barely I mean, see the right. I got the font's going to be. Big. Okay, how do we make it visible, more visible? You Can you change the brightness? All right, I'll, I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. Who has it? I don't see it. 0.75, no. No. We can't see. Well, you can Google. That's Google. I didn't. Ah, there we go. Snoopster on YouTube, 2.4%. Right there. In the 1960s, it was 10%. So people are getting more and more broke, even though their income's up. So Snoopster, I'm sending you 100 bucks on Cash App, or I'm going to mail you a check. 
whatever. But one thing, Snoopster, we still got 900 bucks to give away. Snoopster, um, one thing for you, question or request. You need to put in your email address, Snoopster, because we cannot uh, always direct message you on YouTube. Other channels like Insta, we can. You guessed 2%, but the answer was 2.4. Snoopster got it. <laughs> Somebody didn't get it, Snoopster. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, here's the reason. I'm just going to ask everybody here, if you feel so inclined, how much are you saving? Be honest. Let's just use the last month. How much money did you save? Somebody said, Ty, you can't trust your money in a bank anymore. Well, you, I mean, there's a lot of places you can't trust it. You put it in your, under your mattress, you get robbed, your house burns down. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the famous basketball player, had most of his wealth inside of Persian rugs, this, this, had expensive house. The whole thing burned down. He had to go back to play basketball again because he was broke. That's why he played basketball into his 40s. Um, if you put it all in crypto, we just saw the other day some dude who ran a crypto exchange died on a, some meditation trip probably. He probably did too much ayahuasca in India. He was trying to find himself, and he, he found himself okay. I don't know the story, so I shouldn't comment, but... My guess is he may have found himself a little bit, a little bit too quickly, and he found himself dead. And he had the only, he was the only one who had access to 140 million in crypto in exchange. Now you can store it not in a, you know, exchange, but once again, you can get kidnapped and people steal your crypto, and there's no way to recover it. So even crypto, which is pretty secure if you know how to do it, you can still lose it all. So a U.S. bank. Somebody said he found himself dead. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, he did. He found himself dead. He found himself. All right. Be careful of finding yourself. Because sometimes you do, and you don't like what you find. You find yourself in a coffin. So, um, how can you steal crypto? <laughs> how you steal crypto? You kidnap a mofo. You put a gun in his mouth, and they transfer you the crypto because they want their, you know, gray matter still inside their head. And then once you transfer your crypto to somebody, it's done. You're not going to be able to call the FBI and be like, yo, he stole my crypto. I mean, if you had footage of them stealing from you, but so there, there's all kinds of ways you could lose money. That's why if you're smart, you spread your money out. I'll tell you a way that's harder to steal, real estate. That's why I've been buying up real estate. You own land, like Mark Twain said, buy land, they ain't making any more of it. And... Um, so let's talk about this. How much money did you save last month? Okay. Ty, why do you only pay attention to YouTube and not your IG Live? But I just read this on IG Live. So therefore, your theory is very weak. Um, so what? here's the reason the average person in America only saves 2%. In Europe, it's a little better. They save like 4%. It is because why? Because people don't make enough. If you only make 5000 a month, you got your taxes, Social Security, FICA, all this stuff gets taken out, your insurance, da-da-da-da-da. Next thing you know, you have 3000 If you have 3000 and you have a family, you got mortgage or a rent. Most people don't own their property outright, so there goes another 1500 So now you got 1500 left. You got gas, food. You know, if you're putting a little in your 401k, it's not much left over. In fact, 2% of $5,000 is what? 10% is $500, right? A fifth of that's $100. So average person's bank account is going up $100. In business, this would be your profit. Not much profit. Or you would could say this is your net cash flow, right? If you have a statement of cash flow, you would say, oh, it's going up 100 bucks. So five grand ain't cutting it. Now, if you live outside the U.S., I'll tell you the best formula. All of you living outside the U.S. or you live in America in a more rural environment, I'm here in New York City and Beverly Hills and Miami. It's expensive. London, Where I live most of the time is the, some of the most expensive places in the world. Los Angeles in Beverly Hills, expensive. 
I'm in midtown Manhattan. That's not cheap. Miami's a little cheaper, but not cheap, cheap. And then I, fourth place is in London. And London, to me, London's almost the most expensive place in the world. I don't know how they, London's expensive. London's, exp I mean, Tokyo's expensive. Some other places are expensive. San Francisco's expensive. But yeah, anyway, you have to up this number right here. And what I was drawing earlier, the reason everybody's in this boat is because everybody went this way. This is the nine to five job. This is not um, creating multiple streams of income. The average millionaire has three to five streams of income. I have a solid 15 streams of income conservatively. I have more than that, but let's just, I like to under exaggerate stuff. I always tell people under exaggerate. So I want to show you today on this call, this live call, some things that I think you should be doing to expand this to a different number. And I'll just show you, I was just calculated a little strategy that I did starting in December, 2013. This is an, I just looked, I can even show a screenshot, I guess I should pull it up. Um, December 2013 to today, and it made me $163,000, and I forget the, actually I wrote down the exact sense. Where is this? Let me ask Maya. Hey Maya, what did I say the amount was, 163,000? Can you cut and paste that back to me? I can't find it right now, I'm live. Uh, Let's just say 163,000 net. What is it? Oh, once. Oh, did I put it? I put it in the group chat. 163. What is it? 232. And how much cents? Or 90, or 90 cents. And 90 cents net. Okay, that's not um, gross revenue. A lot of times, people will talk about their gross revenue, and the key thing here is my total time spent on this was three hours, maybe, maybe it was, five, let's just say five hours in five years, okay? So if you divide 163,000 by five, this is a strategy I did to make $30,000 an hour. Now I know that sounds crazy, but I can back this up in a court of law. I can back this up with, a, I just downloaded my Amazon affiliate for my one page. This is just one strategy on on Amazon uh, that um, that I did, and I didn't spend any money on it. Now, this is a small part of my income. If I only made 163,000 in five years on my other streams of income, I would be pissed off. Now, if I don't make, now I do millions a month. But the point is, this I didn't have to really work for. I used it as an alternative stream. So how did I make 163,000 which came out to, this is the key number. Don't just look how much you make, look how much time you're spending, right? Like I see people be like, oh, I made, you know, a million this year, but I sweated like a dog and I didn't have time to do anything else. Sure, it counts, it's still a million bucks, but it's a lot better because time is precious and the other thing about time is, very important, is that I could do other things. You see, I'd be happy with the side, if I didn't have to work, for something, I mean, or if I don't have to work many hours, you always have to work a little bit, and I could still make, let's say, $100,000 a year from it, or a, every five years, whatever, I could do 10 other things like that. That's why I said people got the wrong number, okay? Someone said, I don't find this helpful. You're not interactive with the followers. You just keep talking. That's kind of how Instagram Live works when you're doing a presentation. I know this is mind blowing for you, King Clapton, but you have taken the path, the wrong path. Every time I read social media comments, I'm like, no wonder people are broke. They got no brain power. Brain power, they have it, but it's like sucked out of them by school. <laughs> Kids go in smart. They're like six years old. They have all this potential in their brain and then you give them 18 years, of school and, and university, they come out dumb as a, I mean, just dumb. They come out educated, but dumb. Trust me, I've fired Ivy League people, PhDs. They're worthless in the real game of life, especially when it comes to business. It's just like, you, you gotta understand, man. This is not a joke. 
this is not a joke. This person is blown away that on my Instagram live, I'm going live. This is a very mind blowing thing for him, as opposed to reading every single comment. You didn't go to school. I did go to high school. I graduated. I got my GED. No, I got a real, I got a real, I, is a GED considered a real high school diploma? I got one where I actually went through four years of school, but that was it. Um, what can you do? What did I do with this? Easy. I had an Amazon affiliate page. It's been running for years, by the way. If any of you want to see this page, you could just go to tylopez.com slash books. I'll pull it up right now. Now, there's a lot of people making more money on Amazon than this, but more money per hour? Eh, eh, now the game goes different. Now, me and my business partner have done a billion dollars in online sales, okay? So this is a teeny little thing, by the way. But whenever I meet somebody, it's like, I do way more on Amazon. I'm like, do you do more per hour, buddy? Because when you do $30,000 an hour, that's good money. Whether you only make 160,000 or you make, you know, whatever the number is. Ty, I'm crushing your 2.0 SMMA courses, Alberto Rose. And he said he's soon to be king of internet marketing. <laughs> there is no king, there is no king. People are always arguing, who's the best? Uh, you, this person. I'm like, there is no king, man. There's no king or queen. Just live life. Ty, I won $100 in one of these videos. As soon as I got it, I bought a coin and sold it for 200 bucks. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ty, how do you find products on Amazon? So this is the page. Here, here's a simple formula, just one. Now, by the way, I want to announce, because I, you might not be on my email list. You have uh, until Friday afternoon, which is, so you basically have like 30 hours. I've got a test group that I opened up for five days and I'm closing this one. In the past, I've done scholarships and at the end of the timer, you could still get in the program, we just raise the price. This one I'm closing. If you wanna get in the Amazon Sales Blueprint test group, you got until Friday at 5 p.m. Closing it. I was gonna do it Thursday at midnight, but the problem is people are on different time zones. So like, it's not fair, Ty. You told us we have 24 hours and then it's my time. They're like in Australia or whatever, or they're way ahead of us. So I just said, all right, Friday at five, my time. That will be fair no matter what time zone you're in. Okay, so um, someone said, Ty, his Amazon program is not expensive. Yeah, I priced this thing crazy low, crazy low. So you got there, the link, if you don't see it, it's on my website, or you just go to typelopez.com slash Amazon live, right? Or you could just click the link in your Twitter and your Instagram and your YouTube. We pin the comment on Instagram. Go there now, I'm serious. I'm gonna close this thing up Friday at five. So you got like basically 24 hours. Uh, and in there, we have two programs. We got a 10 day program, a crash course, and we have a four month certification program. I don't know everything about Amazon. I'm gonna teach you what I know. I'm just gonna give you a case study. Here's how I made 30 grand an hour with Amazon affiliate. Now. I have a bigger following, to be clear, but I didn't have a big following in 2013. You know what my first check I looked at? I, I launched in December 2013. I did not even have a YouTube channel then, okay? So you can't say, oh, Ty had a big, I've been moving in silence since 2001. People don't know that. They think, newbies think I'm a newbie. I'm like, I ain't a newbie. I was just quiet for 14 years, 13 years. I was doing stuff. I launched my first business at 19. I launched a food, profitable food business with my mentor, Joel Salatin. I started buying real estate in 2006. I was one of the first people to go online and do lead generation in 2001. 2001. The end of 2001 and the beginning of 2002, right in that little window. So I did not have a big following in 2013. My first check was for, it, well, they don't cut you a check because they have a minimum check size, but my first earnings were $4. $4, I looked today. I'm gonna have to get a screenshot of this. Four big bucks. But you know what? 
it wasn't that much longer till I was getting a check every week. Uh, sorry, they pay you every two weeks for five to six grand a month uh, uh, paycheck. So I was making 10,000 a month. That was when I used to like talk about my books page. I've kind of forgotten to talk about it in the last three years. So little tip, if you want to do well on Amazon reviews and monetizing it through Amazon affiliate, make sure you talk about it. I forgot to talk about it because it's a very small part of my income now, but it still makes money. I, I don't even check my checks anymore. But again, it doesn't matter how much, if I made $4 for the rest of my life a month from something I had to put zero time and energy into, I would just do it again and again and again in a different way, okay? Um, how did you drive traffic in 2013 for the affiliate page? Eddie Drazinski, good question. So let's talk about this. What I did, I'm gonna give you a one, two, three formula. I talk about this more in the program. Uh, let me see how many people got in the program. I've only opened this up for the last few days. I'll tell you the real time numbers. Right now we have 3,583 people have joined as of 13 minutes ago. I get hourly reports here. So Amazon Sales Blueprint, 3,583 people. Uh, by the time we close it, I guess it'll be at, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see, more than 3,583. And so I'm in there, we have a 10 day crash course. I flew in the smartest people I know and you should see, by the way, for those 3,583 people already in the program from this week, I got five just insane Amazon people I'm flying in to come teach. That no crazy stuff, I mean people making money. I'm talking about eight figure Amazon sellers doing more than, 10 mil, doing more than a million bucks a month gross netting seven figures, netting. I already have a trainer, my friend Liz, who I've been working with for years. She lives down in Miami. She's already teaching. She made last month a million gross, 104,000 net, and that's only one of her streams of income. She sells all these household kitchen items. She's big into kitchen stuff, okay? I'm not big into kitchen stuff because I don't know kitchen stuff. So we're, I'm flying in amazing teachers. Is it a one-time payment? We have two options. You can do a one-time payment or you can spread it out. If you want to spray it out, spread it out over like three payments, you have either option. But it doesn't recur for like years. You can just do the one pay option. <clears throat> so here's the one, two, three step formula. And again, I'm not saying, most people aren't gonna make $30,000 an hour like I did or 163,000 from just a few hours of work, no. But what if you just made a thousand a month or a hundred a month? I mean, who cares what the number is? If you once your life will change when one thing happens, multiple streams of income come into your life. Mark my words. Write that down. Those of you taking notes, you got you can't put all your eggs in one basket. I, that's what I was saying about the path. That's the path that everybody's on. You can't. You <laughs> no. Everybody here has one stream of income. And then the economy changes, they lose their job, whatever happens and they're done. More than one. Now you gotta build one at a time, but once you got one built, then you move on to two. And once you got two, so like, you know how there's like 1.0, 2.0? I'm on like 15.0. I've been slowly but steadily building recurring streams of income in my life. Whether they be from cult consulting, whether they be from educational programs like this, whether they be from apartments and condos that I own, whether they be from real estate. I ju we just bought a, <clears throat> I got a person in my mastermind. We're buying homes in Mississippi. We put a little bit of money into them. We're just starting to buy homes there. You can buy homes very cheap, under 50 grand. We put 10 grand in them and we're doubling our money. I forget, the. I should look up the exact numbers. I'm not sure if we quite doubled our money, but I'm talking about in two, three months. So I've got, that, and I do no work on that, none. I just send them money. Um, so that's another stream of income. I've been buying up raw land, stream of income. I own MentorBox. It's now valued at well over $50 million. It's a book company like the Netflix of books, separate from Ty Lopez. It's not my face on there, me and my business partner. We have Walmart as a client, okay? It's a big company. We have Nobel Prize winners teaching in there. We have, you know, it's basically turning books into videos. 
so you don't have to read so much. You can watch or listen. So that's another stream of income. Um, Airbnb, I'm, I'm going, today I was working on buying, I'm trying to buy a hotel in South Beach. I haven't told many people, but you guys are the first people. So that's another stream of income that I'm working on right now. Um, I have a, a meal, repl- a hemp-based protein supplement called Lean 67. Hemp is one of the best plants you can put in your body. Hemp has a lot, it's like spinach. It's got a lot of superpowers. It's another stream of income. I'm not bragging. I'm trying to show you how many streams of income you can have just right in front of you. It's like it's right in front of you. Okay? And talking about one, what's the step formula that I did for Amazon affiliate? Very simple. Find something you like. Okay? You like. Review it. Link it to Amazon. Who here finds this to be impossible to understand? Something you like, review it. For me, I've liked books since I was young. I was kind of raised by my single mom and my grandma, and my grandma looked down on TV and stuff. So she wouldn't let me watch TV. I was always sad my friends could watch TV, but in hindsight, I'm glad. She made me read books. So I've always had a thing. I like books. I buy, I buy uh, $3,000 a month worth of books, about $36,000 a year. I, I uh, last time I checked, I built built a lesson in that in the 67 steps called the $36,000 book budget. What it's done for my life. So I like books, so I read them. I would have read them any. I would have read them anyway. Then I review them, and then I link them to Amazon. So if you go to this page, just look how simple this is. It's crazy. By the way, Amazon is not paying me to say this. Some people think that I am being paid by. Uh, Jeff Bezos, no. So tylopez.com slash books. These are my recommended books. So here I have Peter Drucker's book. I got Dr. David Buss, Sigmund Freud, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Arnold Schwarzenegger. When I met Arnold Schwarzenegger, I was in his kitchen. I, he let me, I, I was at his house. I've gone to his house a few times. I know his son, Patrick's a really cool guy. And anyway, I was there, and, and I just we started talking for like 45 minutes. I, I think I've put some of it on my Instagram. I have, actually. And, you know, I told him I've sold a lot of your books and I've made money. And I don't make much. See, here's the key with Amazon Affiliate. On that book, I probably make a dime or a quarter or maybe a dollar. But anything else they buy in their shopping cart, Amazon gives me a little piece. So I disclose it on the bottom, too. I don't sneak and tell people. Plus, it ain't hurting people. If you buy it from my link, you pay the exact same price. The only person who makes less money is Jeff Bezos. So it's not like I'm tricking people. And these are books, trust me. These are not, I didn't put Contiki there because I thought it would make me a ton of money. I genuinely like the book Contiki, something you genuinely like. Because people are going to know if you fake. No one ever goes to my book page and goes, oh, you're just trying to push books. People go, this dude read Contiki, Will Durant, Lesson of History. He's just posting the books he liked. Then review it. Link to it on Amazon. Put your bank account info. I have them mail me a check because I don't know. It's, I always like getting checks. You get to see what you're making. And that's it. Now, there's people do, who do it way better than me. Guess who made $22 million last year and is only seven or eight years old? $22 million on YouTube. And they have a similar formula. They also use Walmart. They sell through Walmart too. Um, USA Today, this kid right here followed this same strategy and made 22 million in 2018, uh, 17 at seven years old. He's set for life, one year. And most of that's profit. In fact, I would guess all of it's profit. Right here. Now, that person's big enough that they actually have some of their toys at Walmart, but just how can you do a small, small, small version of this? Like I said, my book page has only made me $163,000, but it's net and I did basically no work. Basic, I've updated, I have my assistant update it like once a month. So I guess technically, let's say I have 12 hours of their time. So let's say I spend 
$250 or $300, $400 a year updating that page. So maybe my should be my expenses in five years have been, let's say, 2,500 bucks plus three hours of my own time. So I didn't net 163, I netted 160,000. You can buy a used Ferrari or a used Lambo for 160,000. You could buy a Tesla or two for 160,000. You can buy two houses in Mississippi for $160,000. If you save $160,000 and you know what you're doing and you get 10% or 8%, every 10 years your money will double. 160,000 will turn into 320,000. Let's say you're 25 watching this, or 30, 30, let's say you're 30. At 40, that'll turn into 320. At 50, you got 600,000. At 60, you have 1.2 million. At 70, when most people are, are, uh, retire, you have 2.4 million, all from this little strategy here. Now, if you do this strategy, this one, you know, doing 22 million is a little harder, but it's a seven-year-old. What are you gonna say, he's more skilled than you? No, I will tell you what he has. Somebody taught him and his father about the potential of social media and affiliate earnings because he's an affiliate. What's the best place to start as an affiliate? Well, you can't just walk into Walmart and say, give me a toy deal. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna put you up on the, but you can start on Amazon with nothing. I think Amazon charges you 20 or $30 or something. I don't even remember. Um, so they charge you a little bit. Jeff Bezos keeps that money. <laughs> but look at the, I'm gladly to pay, I'm gladly pay him whatever I paid him because you know what he gave me? A store that hundreds of millions of people have their credit card ready to buy. I'll gladly, I'll, you give me that, I'll give you whatever, you know? So, Ty, I got your 10-day program last night. I'm excited. Awesome. Welcome to the group. Can you start with no experience? How much experience do you think a seven-year-old had? This is, a, do you think he started at two? He's like, was a real progressive baby. He's like, I've, got, I've been doing this five years, baby. No, this kid's seven, so he probably, he started like very, not long ago, not long ago, not long ago. The difference is he had training. You need to be trained. His dad trained him. His dad somehow, I don't know the story of his dad, but the dad learned, you know. Ty, my, my goal in life is to surpass you. Don't make that your goal. Just make your goal to win at what you're trying to do. Never make your goals around other people, you know? Monica, how much was the seven-year-old's overhead to get there? I don't know. How much do you think the seven-year-old reinvested from his past business life? <laughs> I mean, maybe his dad had, I mean, the reason I like to use this example, it's very hard to have excuses when seven-year-olds are doing it. Todd, you really think it was the seven-year-old? No, it was basically YouTube. It was the dad that was the genius? Nope, it was YouTube that's the genius. You actually are wrong, my friend. Mitchell Nuno, you're getting colder. Um, without YouTube, there's no money. See, it's the platform that matters. And Amazon's easier to start on than YouTube, I'm gonna tell you that. I could be talking and doing a five-day close on YouTube, but that's harder. You can make a crap load of money on YouTube, but it's just harder to start. You need a lot of views on YouTube. With Amazon, you need much less views because you get paid based on what people buy. How about this idea? Someone said, dude, the dad had the ideas for the kid to get started. Mitchell, I know this logic is, gonna, is kind of losing you right now. In the order of the importance, it was the platform YouTube. Then it was the father. No, no, I'll even go further. First was the platform, then it was video streaming capabilities that YouTube was even invented, right? But and that there's cloud-based streaming now that's been invented. Then it's probably important that there was a camera design that's very cheap. It used to be 40 years ago, well, 100 years ago, cameras basically didn't exist. So we could also think the camera people. I mean, don't go too far with this metaphor, my friend. There's a lot of people responsible for this kid's success. The reason I have it up there is I'm trying to show you that it's within your reach, man. It's within your reach because the platform exists. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, if this kid, even if this kid and dad were smart, they wouldn't have been able to make 22 million. In fact, in history, nobody's ever made $22 million as a seven-year-old besides inheriting money. It's never happened. Name a time, name a time. 
Um, even child actors didn't used to get, they didn't, Shirley Temple didn't get paid $22 million at seven. Maybe she did. I, but okay, actors and actresses, maybe one in history. The world's changed. You're still following the wrong path. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm trying to tell you. My friend, isn't this biz too competitive and hard? Amazon? No. The reason Amazon is not too competitive and too hard is because more and more people are joining it every day as buyers, as buyers, as buyers. They're expanding. Jeff Bezos is a pretty smart dude. He has a $120 billion net worth. He has a company worth around a trillion dollars. It bounces up and down. He's going full bore, dude. He's expanding. He's getting more credit cards every day. He's making movies now so that people buy Amazon Prime. Like this guy's your best friend and you don't know him and he doesn't know you. Go on Amazon to start. Do not start as a YouTube. People always ask me, start as a YouTube social media influencer? I'm like, eh, okay, I bet against you. I bet against you. Go on Amazon? Ooh, I don't know. You might make it on Amazon. I'm good at betting against people and betting on people. That's what I kind of do now. I'm kind of an investor. I'm a person that has employees. I'm a person that has business partners. I'm a person that looks at companies to buy and companies to sell, and I bet on people or against people. If somebody tells me they're going to become the next YouTuber, I'm like, ee, ooh, this one's tough. Someone said volume is low today. Yellow. We don't think it's that. Sean said, I like your brain, Ty. Ignacio said, Ty, just got in the program. And I'm going to see if I can find you here, Ignacio. So go to tylopez.com. Oh, you just go to tylopez.com. We have it at the main page there, right in the middle of the page. Or you can click the link that's on your thing if you're lazy. Don't be lazy. Yeah, $163,232.90. Now, do do do. Oh yeah, I was gonna read the name. Let's see if I can find you. Let's see who just got in the program as we speak. By the way, the program will close. There'll be a wait list, email list. You go past Friday at five, my time, New York time. Done. Okay. You will have to wait. It will be closed. We will open up a waiting list. We have Demetrius Knight, Fabian Armas. Tony Elias in Jersey City, Anthony Bennett in Huntington. I don't see you. Sandra Favela. Oh, there you are. Igna Man, you got a complicated name. Ignacio Canas Olavarrio in West Palm Beach, Florida. Welcome to the group. Nicholas Janowski in Normal, Illinois. This is good. Lorenius Mar Martinkus in Lithuania. You know, one of a person who's been in my mastermind, he's from Lithuania. How much was he making, Matt Posius? He was in my mastermind, came out for years. He was, he was 19 and making like, Millions, yeah, I think he made like a million bucks the first year. I, he's on past that now. Um, and he lives in Lithuania. You should look him up, Matt Posius. I haven't, t I haven't had that mastermind for a few years, so I haven't seen him. Robert Sarkapianti or Ponti, Boston, Massachusetts. Mehdi Joffrey, Kevi Brown, Gustavo, Oh, no, Gustavo's in a different program. Hudson Copley in Auckland, New Zealand. All you people that are, this, this is, here's another formula for make money. This won't work for everybody. This is, some of you like the four-hour work week. Tim Ferriss wrote a very famous best-selling book. Um, a lot of it I agree with. There's a few parts that I don't agree with, but that's like any book. He's a smart guy, right? Chris Munoz says, your volume is hella down. Is it hella down? Can you hear me? Hansika Uchario. Um, Thor said, I agree. I sell on Amazon. It's a great platform to sell on. One thing I would say is that um, you don't only have to sell on Amazon. I sell a lot more stuff at, off Amazon. Amazon is not my, never will be my main source of income, but, 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 it's a great place Instagram just shut down, but I'm restarting. That says pause. I lost my Insta. Just for no reason? All right, just tell them. Post it and restart. Give us a second. Who else is live? DJ Khaled. 
Y-L-N-N-U-C-I. Oh, there. I can see myself. Okay, we're back. Let's give away some money, by the way, for people who are paying attention. $100 coming right now. Someone said they raised it. Damn, now the... Did you change the volume? Uh, no, I, I did put it higher just so people oh. can complain. There you go. Put it high. Yeah, Somebody said it. <laughs> you did the old trick where you turn it real low. You remember that guy used to play pranks on people? There was a guy who used to play pranks. He would go in like the McDonald's drive-thru and he would whisper into the thing. He'd be like, I like one big... You remember as a comedian, he always had a bullhorn. He did all those pranks with bullhorn, but he would go... I'd like one Big Mac, please. And the person would be in there turning up and pull that bullhorn out. Um, Ty, your intelligence is on a high level. I don't know. Maybe it's all fake, man. Not everybody thinks I'm smart. Some people think I'm dumb. I mean, I ain't the smartest person in the world, but I'm definitely not dumb. I always think that's funny. People are like, psh, this guy doesn't know anything. Psh, psh, psh. Remember what Jamie Foxx says about when J-Lo, when he insulted J-Lo and said she couldn't sing? She's like, she hit me with the beatbox. Psh, 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 when a girl's mad at you. So I'm going to hit you guys with a beatbox. You think I'm not smart? Psh, psh. Um, Ty is the greatest mad scientist to ever live. Mad scientist is something that I want on my tombstone, baby. Psh, psh. I'm going to start hitting people with a beatbox. My J-Lo beat. That's one of the funniest. If you ever seen Jamie Foxx do stand-up, if you haven't, it's better. I love Dave Chappelle. Not as funny as Jamie Foxx at his prime. He has one where he talks. He, yeah, I'm not even going to try to do it. I'm not funny like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> when he goes to Africa and he's like, man, Africa has flies. He said, I look down and there's flies on top of other flies. The flies have flies on them. Uh, Ty, how many horses do you have? Like 13, something like that. What are you secretly planning on that in that basement? That basement is my gym here. Ty, use your beatbox. Here we go. $100. Who's paying attention? How much did I say I made on Amazon affiliate with just a few hours of work since 2013? Who can remember the exact number? Because I actually have my assistant sent it to me. Within you, Whoever gets the pennies, I'll really be impressed. Just my... Oh, damn, this person's fast. Isn't that right? Are you taking notes or something? Hold on. They're coming in too fast. Wait a sec. Damn, dude, YouTube comments can come in fast, man. But that person is right. E-G-E-B-G. E -B -G, 163232 and 90 cents. That was fast. I'm impressed, E-B-G. You either have a photographic memory. You're Rain I got Rain Man on here. Dustin machine. Hoffman is on here. What? Or Time Machine. Or Time Machine. I've got the time machine. How did you get that? I went back in time. Another word for time machine, though, Zach, is a memory. With memory, you can kind of go back in time and remember stuff. 100 bucks. EBG, can you leave a comment with your email address, your cash app? PayPal blocked us. I gave away too much money for PayPal. Good old PayPal. You said the cents matter, too. Yeah, he got it. He said 163232 EBG, look on YouTube. It's right there. You think I made it up? People think I make up accounts. I had my friend make one called EBG so I could save $100. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who would I, what friend of mine would do that if I just took the $100 back? I'd have to pay him $100 <laughs> to do that so I would, might as well just give it away. What are we going to call that when people fake stuff like that? Uh, A Jesse Smollett thing? Yeah, yeah, Smollett. <laughs> just, oh, they just did a Smollett. Just did a mullet, small it. No, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know what the hell happened with that small thing, but uh, Payoneer is way better than PayPal. Okay. Which stream of income pays you the most net? Here's the thing about streams of income. Let me give you a little advanced thing. I'm gonna give away more money. I got like 800. There's two things you want going up in your life, but you want your net worth going up and also your lifestyle net worth, LNW. So that's health, wealth, love, happiness. H, L, uh, sorry, H, W, L, H. Health, wealth, love, happiness. You got, then you got your cash flow over here. 
Just remember one thing, cash flow, net cash flow is taxed. If you live in the United States and California, where I used to live, you pay about 50, you pay over 50% in taxes. So you make a million bucks, you're gonna write a check for over 500 Gs. I've written some, so that's just the, that's how the world is. If you live in Sweden, about the same way. Now, you can, there's some things you can do to keep your taxes down. You can go to Florida, you can go to Las Vegas. They have no state tax, they have no capital gains, state tax, they have no income, uh, state tax, but, so net cash flow is a very tricky one. Part of the reason people make so much money in real estate, for example, is you can do what's called a 1031 exchange where you can, you can have your property go up in value, you sell it, and you don't pay taxes if you put the money into a similar property within a time frame. 1031 exchange. With annuities and, and life insurance, they have a 1035 exchange. You can move money between them without paying any tax on the appreciation. So, but most of the time, your cash flow is increased uh, as it increases, taxation goes up. By the way, who knows for $100, I got another $100. A little bit of pathetic history, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna start a new Instagram. They have like drunk history. Pathetic history. What was the US tax rate in the early 1800s? Uh, I just read this, it is insane. When America was like growing, man. Okay, let's see. Not excise tax or anything like that. Okay. In 18, let's just do 1894. I found this. Can you guys hear me? Who can't hear? No, oh, people can hear. Someone's saying it was 80%. People. No, it was not 80%. It was lower. Lower. All right, I'm going to look on some other... Man, YouTube, I can't even read YouTube. How's poor, lowly Facebook doing here? Bill Madrano said 70%. Okay, shouldn't have looked at Facebook. Not doing any better. Where's Twitter? Where's my lowly Twitter? I get like so many people on Instagram and I don't even, did <laughs> Twitter got deleted? Where is Twitter? Like a smaller window. Maybe it's open in there. That's how important Twitter. Nav Markoloff said 5%. Nope, in 1894, Democrats in Congress passed. <laughs> Zach is a Republican. You're a Republican, right, Zach? I'm a constitutional conservative. Zach calls himself a constitutional <laughs> conservative, which is probably. We have Republicans and Democrats in this room. But let me just say this, Zach. Democrats, I don't even see anybody getting it. I don't see anybody getting it. 7%? Nope. 10? No. In 1894, the ugly god says 6%. Getting warmer. Miss Cashflow. Oh, Glee, you're very close. I'm just going to give it to you. Glee is right, actually. Glee 8. Glee point eight. Glee dot eight. 2%. In, in 1894, Democrats in Congress passed the Wilson-Gorman tariff, which imposed the first peacetime income tax. The rate was 2% if you made over four grand. So only 10% of people had to pay any tax. So Democrats have come a long way, baby. <laughs> a long, a long way. Oh my gosh. Look, I get it. We need taxes and all that a little bit. But did we really have to go from, it's on Quora, by the way, if you want to know. Quora. Who won? It was, the, it was on Glee Point and the number eight. Glee Point eight on Instagram. It's G-L-E-E -E dot eight. What in the world is wrong with us that we've gone, and now who's the person that wants to raise rates? Well, they want to raise the rate and marginal tax rate. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. AOC, she wants to raise it to what? 70%. People are going to just leave America. People are going to leave America. France raised the taxes on millionaires. 12,000 of them left in one year. Like, you do know if you have money, you got options. I think people forget that. You know who end up getting hurt by all these things? Poor people. Because you think you're helping poor people, but you're hurting poor people. Look what they did in Amazon. They, they, were, they were so pissed off at Jeff Bezos that they, $20 billion of income into New York City is now moved away. Are you still looking for him? Yeah, but 
I got it. I screenshot it. It's on this phone. Gleep.8. So, man, when you, you know, people want to help people, but they hurt people. The best way to help people is simple. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. I give out 100 bucks just for fun, like a game show. But I teach people to fish. You know the best thing you can do? Why don't you make internships? How about that? Where people from the inner cities can go and learn. You can also use a thing called the internet to teach people. Because every per I have friends in the ghetto. All the people in the ghetto got have iPhones and they watch my videos. I got it. I have a guy right now used to work for me from a rough part of New York who started his own social media marketing agency and is making money. He sent me his first check. He's got clients. You know, actually, let me see how much he's made. He just texted me today. So my point being is. Learn to fish. Learn, look at this. Ha! It's Andrew. There you go. $9,784. That's his Shopify screenshot. I haven't even looked at this. He sent it to me Saturday. First 10K month, broski. <laughs> he said, Ty, I was at this event. And you're right, entrepreneurs are so dumb. I used to wonder why you hated them, and now I see why. So stupid, use too much jargon, overcomplicate shit, and are corny as fuck. I'm glad you taught me the way so I don't get contaminated by their bullshit, man. But anyway, I'm going to continue working, be your best student, and let me know if you need anything. He's from rough part of Staten Island. Let me, let me write that. Andrew, man, I'm talking about you right now on my live stream. I just showed you a little screenshot. And uh, I agree. Most entrepreneurs are insane. But most people are insane, too. So, Good work. 9700 in a month. Now you got to go to 20 G's. You got to increase your profit margins. So right there, that's somebody who didn't have much starting out. You know how much tax dollars it took for me to help him? Zero. In fact, I paid him. He worked for me for about a year and a half. Then he had to move back to uh, New York when I lived in LA. So Michael Michaels. Mike Michaels, Ty is the four month Amazon blueprint. Yeah, you can go there, you'll see there's two options, yeah. Ambrose Perez says, AOC wants to tax the super rich 70%. The super rich, there's actually a level. Yeah, they try. you know what they tried this in the 60s? Johnny Carson was one of the highest paid people. You know what people, smart people do? He deferred his pay till they changed the tax rate. So you didn't get the money. Rich people got good lawyers, it got, it doesn't work. I used to think that when I, I was like, oh, you know. Someone said, Ty, listen to a dummy that thought to be successful. You need a website. Yeah, you could just use Amazon. Ty, do you have to pay taxes when you drop ship or Amazon affiliate? If you have profit, you do. In America, you make, you have to pay taxes on profit. Don't mess with the IRS. Just, you got to pay it. But if you roll the business if you grow the business and you put the money back in, like Uber isn't paying any taxes because there's no profits, but the owner net worth has increased while the net cash flow hasn't been there. That's what Jeff Bezos did, by the way. See? That's why it's a very complicated conversation. People say to me, oh, Ty, well, blah, blah, blah. Why do you lease a house sometimes? Well, I own houses. I own land. I just bought basically a 1,000 acres, nine pieces of land, thousand acres it's a lot of land thousand acres is two square miles of land that I just bought in the last 18 months some of it developed some to put in conservation some of it for a business that I have and um, sometimes the reason you buy ver or you lease versus buy is just taxes when I first came out people were like did you lease a Lamborghini I'm like yeah because I'm smart is that your fucking attack on me that I'm smart and you're st see but I wrote it off because I was like, financial illiteracy, they don't know what's up. See, when you buy something, the money you put into a car, like the down payment, is not tax deductible. Little ninja tick that your mommy and your daddy didn't teach you and no one in school taught you, sadly. I'm not trying to be condescending, but I'm just saying, this is sucks that we didn't learn this. Is that when you put down tw 10 grand on a car, it's not tax deductible. It increases your cost basis in the car, right? You put your, so now you got 10 grand in cost basis, but it's a depreciating asset, so you're dumb right there. 
You want your cost basis to go up in things you're going to sell later at a higher price point so you get the cost basis as a basically a deduction to the amount of profit you have. But on a car, when you lease it through a business for a legitimate business purpose, that all changes. Same with leasing um, real estate. When real estate is overpriced, if you want to live in it, lease it. When it's underpriced, buy it. Right now, we're in a bubble, baby. Don't buy too much residential real estate right now unless you go to specific areas. But pl I've been telling people this. London's been overpriced since 2014. I shot one of my first YouTube videos about that. You go back all the way to my beginning. I told people. Do people listen? No. They bought $2 million condos or apartments in London. Now they're worth $1.5 and dropping. And they put all this money into them. I told them, lease it. But so when you're in a deflationary time, when you, so markets go through, getting a little bit away from Amazon, but you should know this, when you have a contractionary period versus, a, so you have a contraction in the market, not contraction like pregnancy. Zach's had some contractions before. None of those, <laughs> no contractions. But a financial contraction in a market, right here is when you wanna buy, buy time. We're not in a contraction. Now, I, I just posted a video on my Instagram. I had lunch with one of the head guys at um, BlackRock. BlackRock has a 6.6 trillion under assets. There's levels to money. They're at a whole nother level. Biggest company by assets under management in history, if you subtract like sovereign countries, okay? And the thing about it is, they, you know when he bought real estate? 1989, contractionary period. 2008, 2009, contractionary period. You know when you sell real estate? In the inflationary period, you sell or lease here. If one more moron does a comment about Ty, did you? Now, I never Airbnb, I never shot a video in an Airbnb. Somebody, I've never Airbnb'd, I think once in my life. I got a New York Airbnb and then I stayed in it for like two hours and I left. It was, a, it was like, the pictures made it look way better. But people thought my place in LA was on Zillow. I'm like, it, <laughs> me and Ethan from H3H3 H3 have become friends now. I mean, we're not close buddies, but we talk sometimes. And when he came over to my house, because he had made a video like making fun of me, like I saw Ty's house on Zillow, I said, you know all houses in America are on Zillow, right? The White House. You can pull up the White House on Zillow and it shows that you can lease it for 200 grand a month. Do you really think you can lease the White House? It's an estimated Zillow thing. And he was like, oops, my bad. So I was like, fine, I'm not mad at him. He, he got his thing, he makes, he makes videos about, he exposes things, whatever. Zillow, White House. You can, it doesn't mean, <laughs> hello, you can't, just because it's on here, See, Zillow estimate. Do you think you could buy it for that? You think you can buy it? That's, it's a Zillow number. They invent it, okay? I, this was hard for people to get. It's, see, look, <laughs> the White House. It's 16 bedroom, 35 bath. Would you like to talk to a realtor, Sam? We can go on a night. It's on Zillow, right? So it's gotta be for sale. It's gotta be for lease. Uh, no. <sighs> dum, dum, dum. Dum to dum, financial literacy of the United States is a big fat zero, zero. Even smart people, I just like, somebody said, is Trump airbnb it right now? Yeah. Yes, Trump, exposed Trump's Zillow con. He's conning the world. He's faking it until he makes it. He doesn't really live there. He is actually a homeless man. Oh, man, I get worried about the world. Again, selling... Sell or lease when the prices are inflated. You see, buy low, sell high. I swear, all these people got these tattoos trying to be all woke and all that. Get a tattoo that says buy low, sell high. Just make sure you don't mess it up. You know there's gonna be some dude out there drunk's gonna go into the tattoo shop. Tattoo don't, dude don't know. Uh, can you put buy high, sell low? I promise you somebody right now in the next six months is gonna get a buy high, sell low. Um, anyway, can you be, please make a course on how to avoid paying taxes? Well, you can't avoid paying taxes that you owe, but what you do wanna do is keep your net income down while your net worth goes up. 
There you go. Ty, is the Amazon Blueprint possible when underage? Yes, as long as you don't steal your parents' credit card. And I, people do that sometimes. They're like, their parents call my customer support like, yo, my, my kid bought your program and I didn't authorize it. I'm like, well, Mr. Parent, what have you ever, keep, let them buy it. Is that your, his parents think they're so smart. Like, hoo hoo, I'm saving my kids. Junior, now go to public school and learn about the, high, the square root which doesn't help you. Learn about the hypotenuse of a triangle. Don't ever learn something practical. Like, if my kids, you know, if your kid ever steals from you and you find out they bought something of value, yes, maybe you'll be disappointed, but you shouldn't be that disappointed. It's not like they bought crack, oxy, or whatever. I mean, you know what people are buying right now? Ty, Amazon hasn't paid taxes in two years. How? Because they're smart because they just run, you can just run at a loss while their net worth goes up because the net worth, as the share price goes up, you don't pay. Bezos doesn't pay anything when his net worth goes up. That's not how American tax code works. That's why I said these unsophisticated plans that people have, I'm not even Republican or Democrat. I'm just going, it's all stupid. Nobody even knows how taxes really work, man. The reason, by the way, Sweden is progressive, people don't even know. People go, well, what about Scandinavia? Well, I used to live in Scandinavia. So let me tell you how Scandinavia works. Sweden, Norway. All the rich people leave. They set up their residence in Malta or Cyprus, richest man in Norway. He's, and he just comes back and they allow him to live in Norway, but he's not a student, he pays no taxes. It happens all the time. That has, same thing happens in Sweden. So that's why I said, it's hard to checkmate the chess master. Some of these people are chess masters with money. So that's why I said, you know what the government could really do, really do, is somehow encourage multimillionaires to go into the inner cities and mentor some kids. How about that versus taxes? What do you think really would be better? And I try to do that. I'm not saying I'm a perfect role model, but you know how many kids in the streets follow me? That's why I always say, Shut your mouth when you talk too much about me using a Lamborghini because that Lamborghini gets young kids to go, well, Ty, did, Ty grew up in a mobile home. Ty's family's from Harlem. Ty's grandma immigrated here with 100 bucks. He's kind of in the same boat as we were. And look, he's got a Lamborghini. No one criticizes rappers, so don't criticize me. And I like Lamborghinis. I don't even have them to show off. I have my first Ferrari 10 year, uh, not 10 years, sorry. I got my first one, I got my first Maserati in 05 or 06. First time I put a car on the YouTube was 2015. I went 10 years, I moved in silence with a night, with Italian cars, just because I liked them. So don't, have, just, people too stupid sometimes when they come talking about me. I'm like, you know what? You don't know what you're talking about. Ty, do you like Jordan Peterson? Yeah, I mean, I like smart people. I don't agree with everything everybody says. Um, yeah, but he's a sharp guy. One of my mentors, Dr. David Buss, is like a Jordan Peterson, but he's more advanced. I mean, Jordan Peterson's younger. Dr. Buss is kind of an OG of evolutionary psychology. Jordan Peterson is like a half evolutionary psychologist meets cognitive meets good speaker. But yeah, it, you know, learn from everybody. Learn from everybody. Okay, back to Amazon. Side note. Who's gotten in this program? How much time we got left on Insta? Well, we started. We got Caleb Lynn. Tell me your story, Caleb. You're in Valdosta, Georgia. Carlos, oh, that's not. Miguel Romo in Ann Arbor. Isaac Front. Oh, I was going to tell you this formula. Here's the formula that every a lot of you should follow. Right here. You go like this. You go like this. You live in a low cost area. You live in a low cost area and you earn in a high income area. You know the best way to do that? Go get you, I have a friend doing this, my be, one of my best friends from, I've known him since I was two years old, Jeremy. He worked for me, I trained him. He came work for me even before I was really doing a lot of entrepreneurial stuff. He trained, now he makes him and his, and his um, girlfriend now, 
she worked for me for two years. She learned, she trained. They went off and started a clothing line called Om and Awe. It's like a female clothing line. They do like meditation kind of clothing and quotes. They make between 500,000 to a million a month. I think low months about gross 300,000 and they net about 20% margins. So they make anywhere from like 60 to 100,000 net. You know what he does? You know where he is right now? I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna show you a picture. He's on a safari. He's been on a safari for about a month. He found a phone. He figured out a phone. I think it's like the Pixel or something. He said, dude, when I'm in the Serengeti, I can still work. So he goes, he runs, so he's in Africa right now. He goes to Africa one to three months every year. He goes to South Africa, he goes to Cape Town. He says Johannesburg's too damn dangerous. He said, he told his friend not to go to Johannesburg. His friend's like, I'll be fine. They went to Johannesburg, they were vlogging with cameras. People followed them home, put guns to their head, taped them up. Did you hear this story? Yeah. Put them on the floor and they spoke English, were arguing in front of them, should we shoot them so they can't be witnesses and one guy who with the gun was like nah let's let him live so don't go to Johannesburg okay there's a little more my friend Jeremy told his friend and friends like dude I'm tough I'll be I'm like you ain't tough with the guns anyway so cool he um he lives Cape Town but right now I'm gonna show you where he is it's so cool he wanted to learn how to ride horses so he took a course in Spain he was in England went to Spain lived cheaply Low cost area. Spain is cheap compared to the United States. Check out this video. He sent me right here. Look at this. He's with he's texting me with giraffes in the background. Giraffes. Here he is. He goes, check out this place. He's in Zimbabwe right now. Dude, this guy. I make way more money than him, but I'm like, Jeremy, you got a better life than me. I get so, This is the only guy that I envy in the world. People go, oh, what about this guy? Does he make money? I'm like, that guy has a boring ass life. Who cares? Guy got everything boring. People try to push other influencers on me. Some of them are cool life, but most of them are like, keep your life, dude. My friend makes 50 to 100 Gs net a month with a good brand, clothing brand. All of his customers are in the UK. He doesn't even go to the UK. I went to Australia last year. He's like, I'll come visit you. Him and his girlfriend, chill. He works on his little Pixel phone. You know what he does? He sells online. I trained him. He didn't grow up with money. Me and him grew up, you know, together, San Diego. And then I left and went to North Carolina. And so he figured out his little phone and he's going. So people, I, this stuff works. I've done it for my own friends, my own closest friends. So people go, ah, oh, are you scamming people? I'm like, you already been scammed, my friend. You are, most of you are already so deep in the scam. It's like, I'm gonna replace the word matrix with the scam. You're so deep in the scam, you think everything else that's different is a scam. Really, and your parents are right in the same boat with you. And a lot of people like to think they're independent thinkers, but I'm like, you're an independent thinker, really? What are you doing that's independent thinking? Tell me, you just think because you watched the matrix a few times? You think because you bought two, you bought a little crypto that you're a decentralized independent thinker? Nah, you don't don't bring me bullshit. You're talking to the wrong guy. You're not gonna you're not gonna fool me. Monkey, what is it? Monkey says, what monkey do whatever. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. That's what most people are. Monkey see, monkey do. And so, as I said, why are you not selling on Amazon? No good reason is the real answer. I posted this and one guy on Instagram was like, oh, Ty, what do you know about Amazon? I'm like, December 2013, I started on Amazon. It's paid me a check every two weeks. Well, the first check, they had to accumulate because my first two weeks, I only made $4. But it snowballed and it snowballed and it snowballed and it snowballed until at its peak, it never got super high, but its peak was about 11,000 a month but it was exactly one second of work per month. Not even, all I had to do is read the books that I already read. Somebody said, monkey see, monkey do, monkey pee all over you. That's what Michael Scott said. Somebody said, stop babbling and get on with the program. Stephen Ducati, you're too stupid to be in the program. Please don't go in. If you think what I just said was babbling, you know nothing. I was just showing you something nobody showed you. Do you do this? Let's pick on Stephen Ducati. See, we live in a society 
where people can hide behind their comment. But what happens when you can't be behind your... Let's, let me pull this guy up. Let's see if this guy who thinks he's above what I was teaching, let's see if this dude is in the matrix, if he's in the scam, if he's in the hoax. What did I say? Stephen Ducati. Stefan. Let's see. You wouldn't even know what babbling is, Stefan. That's a sad thing, my friend. You're probably going to be private, too, because, oh, okay. Stefan. Stefan. What are you talking about? This is your contribution to the world. You posted your, <laughs> come on, man. Nope, you're definitely not doing what I'm saying. Or at least you have no evidence of it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. When you implement this, then you can tell me you're babbling. When you implement, are you buying low right now? See, that's what I'm saying. What happens if we live in a world that everybody who leaves a comment, you get, they got to appear in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't that, see, I don't talk crap about people because I don't want them to call me out if I'm wrong. Someone says, Stephen is a entrepreneur. I'm just wondering, Stephen, what's your contribution to this? Did you have any statistics to give? Did you have any insight to give here, Stephen? I'm just wondering. Your contribution has been a quote that's pointless. I don't. A far off picture of old people eating at a deck. Uh, rowboats that washed ashore, what looks like on a sewage line. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just going, Stephen, I get why you're in this <laughs> place that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Someone said, no need to cyber bully everyone. Exactly. Don't cyber bully. You cyber bullied me. No. If you can't stand the heat, don't go in the kitchen. Okay. Ty, 300 pounds for your course. You sold over 3,000. 3, That's 9,000 pounds of revenue a day. You're killing it. You know what? <laughs> Someone said Stephen has left Instagram. <laughs> Okay, this is not cyberbullying. By the way, cyberbullying is where someone more powerful starts picking on someone not powerful. Let me show you what this is more like. You guys ever seen this video where the little kid is punching the big kid? Little kid bullies big kid. This is a better analogy about what just happened. This is a much better one. This is not a bullying victim, by the way. So this little kid is choking this big guy and punching him in the face. Can you, should I make it bigger? Hold on, hold on. Let me make it bigger. It's not the best video, but. A little kid. As the incident unfolds, fellow students at Chifley College watch on as if it's entertainment. But there's only so much the victim can do <laughs> until he snaps. <laughs> that video has now gone now, on the My question is who bullied Hooli? Who bullied who? I never start picking on anybody. I help people. But if you come bug me enough, stop it. I'm not saying I'm the big kid. I'm just saying use your brain, man. <laughs> It's why at a comedy club, you should never heckle the comedian because he has the microphone, so he just yells over you. I see people trying to heckle. Even if you're good at roasting, you can't win because he has a microphone, which basically puts his decibels way above yours. Okay, let's keep going. Someone said, little dude started it. Exactly. It's only bullying if you start it. My mom used to say, I started doing ju judo when I was 12 years old. And my mom's like, Ty. And I've been doing jujitsu and different things for more than 10 years. And my, my mom was always like, you don't have to. Never start it, but finish it. <laughs> people love it. It's funny how many people resonate with that video. 
You know, I think it's happened to everybody. Okay. Hmm. Ty, I was the first one who told you the amount made by Amazon. Yeah, I didn't see. I can't give, I, a few people win. Okay. Let's talk about more strategies. More stuff. We'll stick to the point. So that's Steven and everybody who are very concerned that I stay exactly on. So you're, you're too used to college. College, I'm not college because you guys aren't paying me. So I'm just like up here entertaining myself too. I'm, I get kind of bored so I'm like, let me watch a funny video. I know that pisses some people off because they are sure they're the center of the universe even on my own social media. Ty, it's your social media. Make sure it focuses only to my benefit. That is the only way that this world is fair. Um, can I get a hug, Ty? See, Billy, Billy, you get a virtual fist bump. Ice Tank says, you are paying me. Doses of Michelle, are you gonna save this live? Yes. Real Caesar, is college worth it? Only for a few degrees. That is my answer. Steven needs to learn this formula. A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus P equals L. That's a formula that I've given a lot of people. A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus P1 equals the good life. That stands for active income one, active income two, active income three. You throw at least one passive income. The de de my definition of passive for this is things that you have to put less than one hour a week in, okay? It's hard to have true, true, true passive income, but one hour or less a week, four hours a month, you know, yeah. Ty, what day is the marketing live class? Mm, which program are you in? Ty, I got your program in SMMA. Best thing of my life, bro, I'm in your SMMA 2.0, smashing it, bro. Thank you. Awesome. Ty, when I get paid six figures, can I come to the U.S. and personally thank you? I might be, I like to go out of the U.S. too. Ty, I'm in your millionaire boot camp working on that homework. Good, Marcus. You're reading the books. There's a handful of people that I let in at the, uh, I let into my boot camp, which is a private group, but you can't get in it. It's actually not open right now. So I'm not trying to sell you anything. Someone said, Ty, don't go with this. Let's talk about this. I like to, sometimes people go, why do you talk about the negative? Because sometimes people who are negative have a point. This person said, don't go with this program. Amazon is oversaturated as hell. Amazon is not passive income. Okay, first of all, beware of people having extreme opinions, okay? As I said, I try not to have a, a two extreme opinions. As I told you, I'm not a Democrat or a, Republic, I, a Republican. I find both of them a little too extreme. Um, I do not think Donald Trump is Satan, and I do not think he's an angel, okay? I try to avoid extremes. I do not think Obama was an angel, and I don't think he was a devil. I, most humans are somewhere in between. When it comes to a concept of Amazon, I do not think that Amazon is the only way and the only way to make money online, and I just said it is a great way, and I've had it as part of my 15 different streams of income since 2013. Even if in 2013, December, I only made $4. It went up from there. Um, but do, I do think you're very incorrect. I do think you are correct that Amazon is not a passive income. That's why I generally tell people real estate is, a great, is the one to put in here. Um, Amazon, you could have your day job. You could have so, an agency or Airbnb agency. I've been training people. You could um, have flipping real estate more actively. You could have Amazon in your A3 square or your, I mean, slot or the A2 or A1. But it is not true to say that Amazon is oversaturated as hell. This is not true. Right now, Liz, who's teaching in it, right now she makes 100 Gs net, 500,000 a month. That's last month. Um, it is not true. It's oversaturated. What, let me show you something. I'm going to prove my point. Talk is cheap, right? Let's just pick any product. Tell me a product. I already did this the other day, but you may have missed it. What's your name? P-R-F-C-J-O. How'd you come up with that username, dude? P-R-F-C-J-O. Is this like an inside joke username or something? Uh, Amazon. Let's just go here. Pick a product, any product that you want to pick. 
Is there a, one of the LaCroix? Taco Cat, let's say shirts. Let's just go here to Amazon Home. Let's go to, the, oops, sorry. Let's just go to Amazon, not the cat shirts. Let's look at a category, I don't know what, electronic. No, let's do home and garden. Let's just do home and garden, Amazon home. Let's just pick some items that might be at home. Now, some of these are sold by Amazon, but let's just pick something. Um, what do we have here? A plant. Zach, thank you for very creepily handing me that. Uh, let's go to jewelry even. Jewelry. One of people who follow me, they started Movement Watches. They just sold it for over $100 million in three years. Okay. Someone said, can you move the camera? Maybe you can't see this. Let's just pick bracelets or what is something? Pins and brooches. <clears throat> is this oversaturated? Well, Let's look at a best-selling item here. Clothing clip. Clothing clip right here. Clothes clip, it's got 127 customer reviews. Let's look what their best-seller ranking is down here. <whistles> Oops, sorry. Ba -ba -da. Oh wait, is this a, am hold on, let's pick a different category. Give me a second. La la la. Let's pick what I was doing yesterday just to make this easier. Let's go into hair extensions. A lot of women use them. And I was talking about this so I can kind of, okay. Real well known here, Amazon Choice. Best, I don't know much about hair extensions. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it here. Double weft, human hair, Remy human hair clip extensions by my lady. Now here's where Amazon is. I was just talking on the phone yesterday with somebody who does 12 million on Amazon and um, I was showing them something that people don't realize. Now this, is this brand, a pro, is this a product or a brand? I believe my lady, the best way to find out if it's a product or a brand is to Google it. Products you can always beat. So let's just see if they've turned themselves into a brand. You have products or brands. Products you can beat, even if it's saturated. Brands are harder to beat. What do I see when I look up my lady? I see nothing like I see my lady. It sounds like it, but let's put in hair extensions. So they don't know how to do SEO. They don't know how to rank themselves. Okay, my lady hair extensions. Okay, here we go. Are they a brand? Do people trust them? What's the best way to know? We're gonna go to their social media. Most people have a link. They don't even have a link. Oh boy. Their website at the bottom says 2017. They haven't updated their website in two years. Is this a competitor I'm afraid of? Heck no, I'm gonna blow them out of the water. If I wanna do hair extensions, which, let's see if they're on Instagram. This is Instagram, uh, what is it, my dash, my lady? Let's see what comes up. They probably don't own their own Instagram name. Nope, Diana Mason does. <laughs> okay, my lady hair. Uh, maybe this, my under, yeah, that's probably it right here. Okay, do they know what they're doing? Last Insta video, 71 views. Are you afraid of this? This who you're afraid of? They never heard of Amazon, Instagram before? You're afraid of this? This is too saturated? They have 17 likes on their last picture. 40, this is exciting. You could destroy and decimate these people, build a brand, sell some of the hair extensions on your website, and drive some people to Amazon. Don't believe me? My friend Alex and Mimi Icon with Luxie Hair, built a six million dollar a year business, netted millions. I'm not gonna say exactly, but they netted millions. They traveled around the world, had fun. They had this company right here. I think they sold it and are moved on to their next business. They have, and they have, they know how to do social media. They get 500,000 views on their videos. 
on Instagram. Free traffic. They can drive it to Amazon, their own website. No. PRFC0137, you are a white belt in making money, my friend. And that's fine. I ain't laughing at you. But if you're a white belt, stay in your lane. Don't be talking like you're a black belt. I don't like that. I, I come from jujitsu. If you're a white belt, you sit and listen. I, I'll tell you, if you want to have a great way to get your butt beat, go in any good jujitsu studio in the world with your white belt and start being like, all right, let me show you. Let me show you what to do. Let me show you how to get position here. They're going to wrap you up in a, <laughs> they'll hurt you, but try to pretend like it was just accidental. <laughs> so if you're a white belt, that's fine. Enjoy it. Ask a lot of questions. Don't make definitive statements. Okay, I, I started out as a white belt in 2001. I started, I on Google Ads, the end of 2001, beginning of 2002. Google AdWords was only a month old when I got on it. They used to be called something else. So I'm no longer a white belt. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm talking about business now. In jiu-jitsu, I'm only a blue belt, okay? I'm not a black belt. But in bit online, I, I don't want to rank myself. But like I said, me and Alex, my business partner, we've done one billion in sales. Does that make us, am I at least a brown belt? Okay? Don't listen to people like this. They're just, you're, you, you should, not shut the door for other people, my friend. Not shut the door. Someone tell, I said, what's your net worth? Well, if you Google it, I think it says five million, which is great. I could have it changed, but I'm just like, I'm gonna leave it at five million. I think that's from 10 years ago. But why do I only care about my lifestyle net worth. LNW, good life. Health, wealth, love, happiness. Like right now, I'm a little chubby. I don't like that. I'm more concerned about that. So, Ty, thanks for these videos. I regret finding out about these live, so, uh, live calls so late. Marcus McGriz. Marcus, good news for you. You got the right attitude, almost. It's not too late. It ain't too late. It's not too late. You're right on time. Amazon's right on time. Sure, you're a little late, but you're, you're right on time. Cesar Char says you look okay. <laughs> You're eating them feet crab cakes. Stop that drink for flat stomach. This is actually water that has air bubbles blown into it. You don't really get fat from LaCroix. Um, and I'm not that fat. I'm trying to cut my waist to 30 inches. I got it to 31.9. Ty, should I quit college and start business? Before you quit anything, try adding this on as a side business, okay? Ty, what do you think of drop, starting Shopify and drop shipping now? You can do it. We, we have a program on that. It's fine to do. I would, Amazon, the beauty of Amazon, you don't have to build a website. That's an advantage. And you don't have to get credit cards on file. There's hundreds of millions already, courtesy of Jeff Bezos, okay? Ty, show your feet for the foot, feet fetish viewers. <laughs> I'm just gonna cover my feet. SMMA is still relevant, yes. My SMMA program has, I, I really want to commission a study. I bet you person, if you do a per capita or per person that I'm beat in terms of creating careers for people, I want to find the college that's putting out more people actually making a career from something than the SMA program. And that was a surprise to me. I launched SMMA in October 2016. I just launched it as a test group, just like this, test. I was in Palm Springs climbing up a mountain and I announced it on my Snapchat. I was like, who wants in? And it went crazy. Apparently people like the concept, but you know, these programs are already getting success. I just launched the e-com agency last week. Now the first testimonial we got, he got a $2,500 client. He just got a second one today. He's making 5,000 recurring a month with two contracts to do an e-com agency, which is similar to SMMA, but it's more for physical products and selling. And, and by the way, Amazon is e-com. So this thing works, man. This thing works. It works. It works. It works. Ty, what do you think about buying a triplex and renting it out? If the numbers make sense, if the financing makes sense, it can make sense. Real estate is more to it than just saying buy it and rent it out. What if you pay too much for it, you know? Or what if there's some issues that you don't understand? What if the financing or the money that you have is not could be better used in another way? So you got to become sophisticated with money, man. And 
10 minutes we got. How much money do I have to get away? Tom, just joining, do you mean find a seller on Amazon and compete by selling the same product? Um, I'm just saying, I would have, if I want, if I liked, I recommend sell something that you use. So if you're a woman, or I guess a guy who uses hair extensions, um, I would not fear this person right here. I would take them out by building a, be, be, uh, creating a trusted brand. Okay, then you get free organic traffic. You can get traffic from social media. Um, and the more traffic you get, it pushes up things up. Ty, why don't you have a Wikipedia page? I never wanted one. They had one for me. I, I got it taken down. I was just like, well, I'll get one. All those kind of things don't matter to me. People are like, oh, like being on a list of how much my net worth is, I told you, all I care about is do I like my life? I don't care if other people like theirs. I definitely, look, I got a, one of the baddest ass places in Manhattan that I live in, literally. One of the <laughs> top 10 place in Manhattan. My neighbor just bought a $250 million condo next door. Do you think I feel envy? I don't care at all. I actually know, I don't know the guy personally, but I know who it is. I wouldn't want to be him. If you said trade his lives, I'm like, I don't know, he's like 70. Why would? 70, I don't want to have a $250 million condo. At 70, I want to be like chilling with my grandkids or something. Joel Salatin, my mentor, he's a millionaire, but you know, you think he wants to be an 80, like I live in Beverly Hills, you get 85 year olds driving around in Ferraris getting out with a walker. I'm like, ooh, did you win or did you lose, dude? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure winning. I bought a farm. Like I want to be 80 on my farm away from people, by the way. If, please, Zach, smack me in the face if I'm 80 in a Ferrari in Beverly Hills trying to show off with my hip <laughs> crawling out of a Ferrari. I'm like, I finally made it. I spent my whole life shirt unbuttoned, shirt unbuttoned with <laughs> nasty old hair coming out. Man, when I'm 80, I want to be on my farm. I got a farm now. I want to be with like animals, nature, no weird people. You know what I'm saying? Someone said, stop flexing. I'm doing the opposite of flexing. I'm going, I don't want to be that. This is a, I'm unflexing, man. I'm un or maybe you just said, I look so massive <laughs> that he was, is that what he meant, Zach? Stop flexing. <laughs> Zach's not going to give me that. He's a Leo. Zach will not give me praise. He's like my grandma. <laughs> Ty, what do you think? Good, man. Ty, what do you think about 5G? Can you drop ship from drop shipping stores? You could drop ship the concept of drop shipping. Is 5G dangerous? Probably. I'm sure all these phones and internet around us, whenever I go to my farm in the middle of nowhere, I sleep 10 times better. I promise you all this electricity and wireless floating around our heads, guarantee you isn't good for you. I know that there's all these studies saying it's fine for you, but if you read the fine print, it's like commissioned by Verizon. So Verizon does a study that all the Verizon airwaves are great. It's like pharmaceutical companies. No side effects, dude. Who commissioned this? Bayer. Who commissioned this? Uh, yeah. Beware of uh, perverse incentives. Ty, buy some direct. Do you believe in astrology? I believe that people believe in astrology, and therefore I believe in astrology because of the placebo effect and possibly other effects. Ty, what do you think? Uh, about Facebook ads for promoting sites. Absolutely. If you get a review site that's getting good affiliate traffic, you could throw a little bit of cheap Facebook traffic. Ty, do you think Gary Vee works more hard than smart? I don't know. Gary Vee's a smart guy. Gary Vee's not dumb. Nobody gets it high up. People always want to pit me against other people that are like, what do you think of Tony Robbins and Gary Vee? I got nothing bad to say. I don't always agree with people, but that doesn't make them bad. Overall, I agree with Gary Vee. Overall, I agree with Tim Ferriss. Overall, I agree with Grant Cardone. Overall, I agree with Tony Robbins. I mean, I overall, I've found that people at the top, I agree with Chris Paul overall and LeBron James and, you know, Mezzi and Ronaldo overall. Uh, I have a slightly different ph philosophy. I don't think those people would want to be me and I don't want to be them. That's my answer. So I, I don't live my life in a way like that. 
Um, but I generally, I think Gary Vee is a very smart guy who's built in his empire, his way, what he likes. And you know what? I don't want to be Gary Vee, and I guarantee you Gary Vee don't want to be me. And I, I respect Grant Cardone. He just built, I just came and spoke at his conference, biggest entrepreneur conference in the U.S. I don't think he wants to be me, and I don't want to be him. But we are, we're mutually, we're allies in a sense, you could say. You know what I mean? And some people don't like me, and some people I don't like. Just, you need to be balanced in life, you know? Ty, are you set up as a U.S. company for Amazon? I am because I live in America. There's many ways. You don't have to live in America to have a U.S. company, for sure. My friends from Norway come. They buy real estate in Florida. And you know what? They form an American LLC, and they do not live in, L in America. America is very open. Possibly, some people say, we have too much open borders. But if you come and you bring money and you pay taxes in America, they're going to let you come in America. Because one thing American government has is a crap load of debt, and the way they want to pay off the debt is tax people. So you come and pay taxes, um, you know. Okay. Uncle G low-key doesn't like you, Ty. <laughs> we talk. Uh, he likes me enough. He likes me enough. Four minutes. Look. In the game of business, everybody got a little animosity against each other. Everybody got their little thing, man. I promise you, Jeff, you see it with Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. You see all these people got a little, little rivalry going on. It's all good, man. It's a little competition. It's a little passive aggressiveness. Blah, 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 blah. who cares? Hey, I'll tell you this. As long as you leave me alone in the big picture, I don't care what you say about me. If you mess with me, I will come at you 10 times harder. So I tell people, my, my stepdad told me this. He's a big, strong guy. Uh, he said, Ty, never pick a fight. But if someone hits you one time hard, hit them 10 times, 10 to one ratio. And then they'll never do it again. So as long as people just leave me alone, I leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? And I not necessarily literally hit them, but They'll know I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said a guy is killing alpacas. Okay. Thoughts on trading Forex? It can be an alternative source of income. Kobe, Ty, I saw you at the Arnold Schwarzenegger exhibition. Okay, Instagram, we're about to reset, but I got how much money to give away? 700. I still got 700 to give away. I'm gonna go a few minutes longer, come right back on Instagram. Who wants some of this 700? So I've been doing judo for 15 years. Let me see one of your moves. Long time ago, I, f I flipped to jujitsu. If you go on my Instagram, I got all kinds of jujitsu stuff. Okay, tylopez.com. Who's getting in the group? We got less, like I said, you got till Friday at five o'clock. I extended it a little bit. And then it's a hard close, meaning it'll be an email waiting list. You cannot, you cannot get in. I can't even find my link. There it is, tylopez.com slash Amazon Live or just go to my website. Let's give this $700 away. We got Aaron Vasquez got in. Oh, no, no, sorry, that was something else. Derek Robinson, Ruston, Louisiana. Side Raymond Bentley, Australia. Caleb Lynn. Carlos Mendoza. No, Carlos got an SMMA. Miguel Romo, Ann Arbor. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong day, sorry. Time clock. I was like, I recognize the name. Jonathan Thomas, Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania. Michael Griffin, Sacramento. What is this? Hold on. One minute. Questions. What should I do to give away this $700? Ty, are you living the good life? I try. I'm competing with myself. Competing with myself. I'm competing with myself. Every one of you, you're competing with yourself. I don't know what you like out of life. You don't compete with me. I, I, I really feel bad for people who go, Ty, one day I'm going to pass you. What does that even mean? 30 seconds. Pass me in what? Too much envy, too much jealousy in this world. Ty, what do you think about starting a clothing brand? Ty, we launched one. I have an incubator, and I launched it, uh, we launched it in November. 
and we've just been building, testing the price points. We got a, it's called a better man. Okay, 700 bucks, starting to give away. Instagram, come right back if you want this. Uh, your thoughts on Amazon FBA? That's one of the things that we're gonna, we teach in the program, Amazon FBA. All right, put, repost it and then. Ty, do you think offshore money to tax havens is a good idea? Depends who you are asking. If you're asking a, the US government, it's very bad. Mark Cuban says he works 24 hours a day to kick his competitor's ass. Does this hold true in the game of business? I actually know Mark Cuban a little bit. Um, I don't know that anybody works 24 hours a day, but he is a hard worker. But you know what? He likes what he does. When you own the Dallas Mavericks, it's fun to go into work. When you, you got a top TV show, fun to go to work. You know what I'm saying? One of the problems is you probably don't like what you're, wait, you're doing to make money. Only make money in things you like to do. Occasionally, you have to temporarily do a little bit of stuff you don't like, but don't stay there long. Ty, you, why are you in the basement? Because this is the basement. I have a house outside the city, and so, what? Oh, you reset. Yeah, I reset it. And so, this is my gym down here. Ty, you should be on Shark Tank. I got my own show, investor show. I mean, I, I guess I would go, but TV to me, it's cool. Everything's going online. Everything's going online, man. Ty, you're a legend. Respect you for that. That's why I'm nose diving into the cannabis business. A lot of people going in there. Be smart. Be smart. Should you rent a Ferrari? Renting a Ferrari is very expensive. Buying or leasing, it depends. One, do you have the cash flow to support it? Two, do you love Ferraris? Never get stuff just to show off. I have nothing in my life just to show off. I don't wear any jewelry because I never cared about jewelry. If I'm in my basement, I'll shoot in my basement. I don't care. If I'm in a mansion, I'll shoot in a mansion. People do what you like. I just do whatever I'm already. If I'm in Miami, I shoot from Miami. You know, If I'm on my farm and I'm with horses, I shoot from the farm. That's all my social media is. It's not showing off. It's actually a 24-7 reality show showing people what I do. And then you can modify it for whatever you like or don't like. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you like or don't like. Keep the best, leave the rest from my life. For all of you who are sure you're way smarter than me, you just haven't gotten your chance, great. I hope you're way smarter than me, you know? Uh, what do you think about a cannabis affiliate site? For sure, can make money as an affiliate marketer. Ty, you can lease a car, put it on Turo. Yes, you can. Just make sure people don't trash it and you got the right insurance. Ty, you recommend your courses alone or hire someone else to help you. Always start your stuff alone and then delegate later. Ty, you should do a boxing match with Uncle G. <laughs> I'll box any influencer in the business space. Tony Robbins is a pretty big dude and he got big hands. Uh, I'll go in a ring with any business influencer that wants to go in there with me. I mean, there's some influencers I don't want to go in the ring. I'm friends with some some of the Gracies I wouldn't want to go in. Conor McGregor is a is an influencer. But I'm talking about the business influencer in my world. I will take that. I will take that. Maybe I'll lose, but I've been in a few real fights in my day. So I don't maybe they have too. Ty, what about Alex Becker? Uh I know Alex Becker. I haven't I don't know what he's doing these days, but yeah, Ty, I have a business making me $5 million a year. How come I haven't heard from you? I don't know. Why would you hear from me? You think I got a phone book, call up everybody doing $5 million a year? I honestly don't care. I mean, I have friends that are broke and friends that are rich. Elon Musk? <laughs> I wouldn't call Elon Musk a business. If I would box Elon Musk. He's a big dude. I, I've, I've met him quite a few times and talked with him. Uh, Logan Paul. Logan Paul's a tough dude. Wrestler, you know what I mean? I think he grew up wrestling. Ty, what are your thoughts about Cardone Capital? He's raised a lot of money doing real estate. 
Um, I know a lot of people like it. I don't. I. I don't can't speak too much to a lot of this stuff, you know, because I I I haven't looked into everything. What are you drinking? That they lie about the ingredients. I don't drink too much of it, but once in a while, somebody said their bed is on tie. <laughs> uh, John Cena would be. Fun. I would not fight John Cena. No, I I met The Rock the other day. And Jason Statham, I went on the set. I went with them, spent the day on this. They're shooting the new Fast and the Furious movie in London. Uh, the Rock is big. I will tell you this: The Rock is bigger in person than I thought. One of the ways you there's two ways, three ways you can I can tell you how, how to know who you wouldn't want to get in a fight with. Just three simple ways. One, if their nose is very crooked, because it means they've been in a lot of boxing fights. My trainer, my boxing trainer, he's been in 39 street fights. He's from Central America, and he's lost one where he pulled his shirt off and the guy knocked him out. Uh, second is ears. If their ears are all mangled up, that means they've been wrestling for a long time. And the third is if they have huge wrists. Wrists are the biggest predictor of how much strength you have. So the rock, like Rome, you guys see him. That's with me sometimes. He's six foot six, 330 pounds. The Rock has bigger wrists. I bet you The Rock has like nine inch wrists, which is a lot of strength. It shows your bone structure and it's you can't change it by lifting weights. No matter what you do, your wrists right here don't get really any bigger. Um, Floyd Mayweather, hell no. Dude, Floyd Mayweather, you ever seen that guy throw a jab? You would not want to box Floyd Mayweather, I promise you this. Okay, let's do some giveaway. Mark Zuckerberg. I take my chances on Mark Zuckerberg. Take, you give me the rock, I don't go. Give me, I'd take two Zuckerbergs, three I would rather fight at the same time than one rock. Jason Statham's not such a big guy, but he's in great shape, you know what I mean? Canelo, no. No professional boxer. Professional boxer. People don't understand how fast the professional boxer will hit you. Now, if I could tackle him and do, you know, do a takedown, I got a bit. No, boxers will hit you fast. You will be done. Somebody said Mark Zuckerberg will crush you in them new balances. Get a Zucker punch. Okay. Fight Warren Buffett. I'll take my chances. Buffett's 90. Reed Hoffman. Reed Hoffman was just uh, in my mentor box company teaching the billionaire started LinkedIn. So I'm not gonna say anything about him because he's, he's, he's a business ally now. Fight Joe Rogan, no, Joe Rogan is a black belt. No, you do not wanna fight Joe Rogan. No, no, no. I, I, I have the same lineage of teachers in jujitsu, but I'm not a black belt. Um, he got his, he got his uh, black belt, I think he got it from Jean-Jacques Machado, who I train with sometimes and I train with the brother, Higan Machado. No, Joe Rogan is tough. Do not touch Joe Rogan. I can promise you that. Um, what belt am I? Blue belt. Joe Rogan would kick someone in half. Yeah. Uh, battery went to 20%. Can you just put it in? Oh, you can't? Okay. <laughs> Khabib. Heck no. <laughs> this is a funny one. Ed Milet. Don't really know him. Jeff Bezos. I take my chances on Bezos. Eddie Bravo gave him his belt. Yeah, but Eddie Bravo got his belt from Machado. But somehow, he's through the Machado. Gary V, I don't know. I don't know if he trains. I don't know anything about it. Jesse Smollett. What? Jesse Smollett? <laughs> How about against Zach? I spar against Zach sometimes. I got a good balance. Same people thinking they can fight a professional boxer think they can hit a 100-mile-per-hour fastball. All right, before I give this money away, I'll tell you a true story. I trained sometimes with Boz Rutten. He would train me one-on-one. -on -one. If you don't know who he is, he won two UFC heavyweights. I just saw him. He was training with Conor McGregor the other day, I think. Anyway, he is a, he's in the Hall of Fame for fighting, and um, he taught me a way you can punch anybody. So even if, when you try to fight pro, I, I have a lot of pro trainers. They're pro fighters. Giga is a pro fighter that trains me. Um, I've trained with a lot, Henner Gracie, you know. I even know I had at the house 
the guy who started the UFC. So he's actually a red belt in jujitsu. There's only a few. It's Henry Gracie's father. And so I've been around and I fought Higan Machado, who gave me my blue belt, is a badass. He was seven, he, he was, uh, he won 700 matches in a row in Brazil. And he was the youngest black belt in America in jujitsu. And he has a coral belt. He, he's, and he's like 200, he was like 280 pound guy. Anyway, that's who I trained with. And so Boz Rutten came one time. And so when you try to fight a pro fighter like a boxer, okay, I'm okay. My hands are faster than the average person in boxing, but not against the pro. So I'm against this. Boz Rutten comes, and I'm, it's really hard to hit him. You think you can hit people with your hands, but these guys are masters of pacing, and they keep the right distance, and they can move. So he was hitting me like 30 times, and I had like 30 people visiting me. So I was getting embarrassed. So to all my friends, and I remembered, there's a way you can pretty much always hit somebody little street if you if you do a punch a body blow and at the same time you hit with a just a overhand left it almost always connects people drop a little bit so I did this I was getting embarrassed and I finally was like you know what I am going to hit Vaz Rutten because I was like getting mad so I did, wow, right to the chest and it, but it's kind of a faint right you go whap and I hit him in the head real hard. And he got so mad, he like lost, he like forgot he wasn't in the UFC. So he took me down and he's from this thing called like shoot. It's a, it's a, he's from the Netherlands. So they do this thing, I think it's called shoot box. It, they do a lot of weird leg locks. They basically snap your knee um, or your ankle. So he got me in the, probably the worst leg lock I've ever been in. And Higan Machado was there and Higan was like, cause he's Brazilian, his English is funny. He's kind of like, bro, I was going to have to jump on boss and save your leg. He had my leg. Oh man. It, they do. It's almost in jujitsu. It's considered dirty locks. Like you don't do it, but it was kind of like, what, what's it's like the Hulk. When the Hulk got mad, he just lost control. So what I learned is when you're fighting really somebody badass, don't hit them uh, too hard because they they get mad. In a yeah. Anyway, so Ty, how did you not get mad? <laughs> I was in a lot of pain. I you could not get mad. He had me like there's a heel hook. You could he like had me in a heel hook and a freaking leg lock at the same time. It, it was a bad position, man. Okay, Ty, change the subject. You don't need to fight anyone, homie. Good recipe to staying alive. Make enough money, then just keep a lot of big guys around you. My dad taught me that. My dad's from Harlem. My dad's like a kind of like an OG. He was in prison. That's why I was born in L.A. He'd been stabbed in the stomach. He spent years in prison. He's blind in one eye from a fight. And my dad always ha hung out with very big guys. And the best way to survive in life, if you go to rough areas, Bring five or six dudes with you. Ideally, guys with messed up noses, thick wrists, cauliflower ears, you'll be good. Unless someone has a gun. Okay, let's do the giveaway. Your dad was black. Nope, my dad's from Spanish Harlem. I think 163rd in Lexington or something like that. My family been in Harlem. They're gone now. My dad went to prison, so he left in a in an FBI plane I think or bus he was taken by the FBI uh, before I was born I -E? so that's the formula a1 a2 a3 okay what did I say for a hundred bucks what did I say is the best P1 P1 passive income number one what's the best one what did I say is my dad alive yes but he never left the community that he was in prison. He was in prison in Terminal Island, and he's from Long Beach. Never left Long Beach. Ecom, nope, P1, 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 P1. All right, we follow love on Instagram. First one I saw says real estate. We follow love. I'm sending you 100 bucks, 600 bucks more to give. Uh, switch the subject. Let's switch the subject. We got a lot of people on YouTube. Between 2,500 and 3,500 live this whole time. 
Uh, next question for you. What did I say you want to have on Amazon? Not a product, but a what? All right, I'm gonna give Facebook and Twitter a chance. You want to have not a product, but a da da da. D D D. Twitter, are you there? Twitter is down to 35 people because I guess I forgot to look at Twitter. Sorry, Twitter. My bad. Remember, you only have till Friday at 5 p.m. Hard close on the Amazon test group. You ain't gonna learn it. Okay. Carissa the goat. Carissa the goat. Did you get it? Twitter? Yeah, I got Twitter. Carissa the goat. Hundred bucks. She said brand. You're gonna. It's oversaturated for products on Amazon. It's not oversaturated for brands. I repeat, it is oversaturated for products, but not for brands. It is not for brands. Ty, I am thirsty. Okay, good. Hunger and thirst for knowledge. Good marketing. How much we have left to give? 500? 500. 500. What's the name of the website my friends built to do hair extensions? It's not this one. What's the name? I'm headed over to Facebook now. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Somebody said catchy profile. Nope. What's the name of it? Facebook. Ty looks different today. Do I look different today? How do I look different today? People keep saying that. Maybe I'm wearing brown. Luxy hair, Jason Situation Jones. I like that. Did you get that from what's what's the guy that was the Situation? Remember that show? He had abs. Jersey Shore. We got the Jersey Shore on here. One hundred dollars. Okay, let's head over to. We did Facebook. We did Twitter. Hundred bucks on Instagram. Now let's go to YouTube next. I think Instagram won less. Instagram. What is who is the best person to partner with? Well, let me just say, hey, best. Who's a great person to partner with so you don't have to build your own website? Myrna, somebody said. No. YouTube. Who's the best person? If you don't want to build a website and you want to sell online, who's the best person to partner with? Somebody said Mike Cook. Malik Patel, got it. Jeff Bezos. Malik Patel, here's the thing. Malik, you won but you gotta leave an email address here as a comment or we can't find you on YouTube. YouTube's DM system is garbage. Let's head over to Instagram. Somebody said Mark Zuckerberg. No, you can't, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't have an e -com platform. Uh, I said the economy goes into a period of contraction and then what? In, uh, what do we just do? YouTube, Instagram. Instagram. It goes through. No, I'm gonna do my Snapchat. Go to my Snapchat at Ty Lopez right now. It goes through a period not of contraction, but of Snapchat is at Ty Lopez. I'm gonna check it right here. You can do it with me. Give it a second. Contraction. It turns into. All right, it's gonna start. It's gonna start coming in real fast. We'll blur the screen in a second. Let's see if anybody's getting it yet. Uh oh, it's about to, it's, all right, it's already frozen. Yeah! Snapchat, I think, is having a little hard time with their servers these days. They're not my, quite making as much money anymore. Oh, let me, all right, I gotta close all mics. Snapchat, head over to my Snapchat for a millisecond or grab your friend's phone. $100. A period of contraction and then the economy goes into a period of survey says survey says let's go if anybody got it oh man you literally can jam see we're getting five per second so once inflation close inflation's one way I said there you go Nawal M, expansion. All right, remind me to airdrop you that. Nawal, I'll just say it, you won. Oh man, now it's frozen, dang it. You can destroy Snapchat with these things. 100 for Snap. 
let's head over to, all right, let's head to my Instagram main, not on live. Go here to my main Instagram. I just made a post right here about BlackRock. Whoever leaves the correct answer on this post right here, this post right here, wins $100. The question is, what was the guy's name that I said almost broke my leg because I punched him in the head? And he's a Hall of Fame. You got to go right here. Leave it as a comment. I'm going to look at my little activity. We got activity. People are liking it. I'm going to give you a second to get over there. Somebody wrote expansion. That was the last giveaway. Come on, let's go. In the meanwhile, more important than me giving you a fish, $100, teaching you to fish. I see the right answers on YouTube, but as I said, you got to be doing it on Instagram. Comment. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to go over there. In the meanwhile, Hagen Machado. No, Hegan was the guy who was going to save me. The guy who was putting me in a leg lock was The Rock. Randy Orton, somebody said. <laughs> Is it Randy Orton? What was it? Randy Orton's WWE, right? Uh, I don't know. Look up, Randy Orton's a wrestler. Randy Orton? That's not a very wrestling sounding name. For the WWE. Randy Orton. I wonder I don't know this. Who's commenting with the right answer? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Randy Orton. That guy. Somebody said, your ex. What's the username for IG? I'm going to give you a million guesses when you're on Ty Lopez's YouTube. I'm going to give you a million guesses what my Instagram is. Okay, here we go. Whichever one I... F Bad rooting. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. I'm refreshing again. There we go. My Sean Thaden. The Dawn from Vegas. $100. I'll screenshot this. My Sean to Dawn. I'll reply to you. You a hundred dollars. Just hit ten percent better. Okay, we're almost done. How much more do I have to give away? One hundred. I've done this, I've done that. Okay, we're gonna do a Twitter one. Go follow my at Ty Lopez verified Twitter. If you already follow, like. Either follow or like it. Is it spelled the same way? Spelled the same. My name is always spelled the same. Follow me right there. Boom, boom, boom. Or like or retweet anything. I'm, you don't have to do anything this time. I'm just going to pick somebody who follows or likes. I'm going to look here in a minute in my notifications. I'm going to pick one person who followed or liked. So if you already like me, I mean if you already follow, then just like or retweet. Who won that? I just, I just showed you. I commented on my Instagram who won. I'm going to give you guys a second. Who's following? I see people starting to follow. Ty, what is the scope of making big money in the energy industry in the future? Alternative energy is going to be big, man. It's going to be big. Whether it's solar, I mean, everything related to energy is going to be massive. Whether it's conserving energy, conserving fossil fuel, or expanding fossil fuel, both of them are going to go up. People are going to do both. People are going to do both. Both. Um, you, fossil fuel is just too addictive for people, and in some places it's very cheap, but it's, in other places it's very, becoming very expensive. So now you see solar, you see wind expanding in the United States. You go to Europe, you go there's a bridge between Denmark and Sweden. You drive over that bridge to Malmo, Sweden, there's huge windmills out in the middle of the ocean. I think it's cool, man. I was like, that's where you should put all the windmills where it's not ugly. You stick them out there in the ocean. Although. The ocean's very powerful, can snap them sometimes. Okay, let's see who's winning this on Twitter. Just following me or liking, I'm closing my eyes, I'm refreshing. The first person that I see, here we go. Felipe Pobleton Leone, $100, you followed me. Joined August 2011. I screenshot, yeah. How much more money I got? Okay, before I go, you have exactly, well, roughly, depending on your time zone, let's just call it, damn, 
24 hours. Amazon sales blueprint closes. I told you, for some of you, mark my words, I've been telling people this, this is the biggest day of your life financially. Not for everybody, but for those people who really apply this stuff, this stuff, I only bring in teachers that are actually making money. No people who are just professors. No people just teaching you how to book other people's material. They're teaching it themselves, what they've done, their case study, okay? And somebody, it's funny, I just met somebody. Oh, when I was at Grant Cardone's conference, um, a girl flew all the way from India. And I, I'm gonna release a video in the next week or two. She said, Ty, I want you to know, biggest day of my, you did one of these live calls. I remember the date, Ty. She said it was February 2018, about a year ago. She goes, I wrote down the day, I got in, and at that time, we were doing an e-com, like a drop shipping program, a little different than Amazon, but similar principle. She got in and she said, now she's making four to 5,000 US in India. She said, let me put that in perspective, Ty. I went to one of the top business schools, she told me, in India. When she graduated, she got a good job that was offering her 700 a month for full-time work. She's making almost five times that. She's making roughly, after taxes, let's say five, six, seven times that, depends on the month. And she said, I flew all the way here to the Grant Cardone conference because I can afford it now. And I don't have to rely on my family. This thing works. Andre said, love this guy. Thank you. Joel Gonzalez, you, he said he thinks you saw that. Yeah. So these are real stories. They ain't made up stories. People used to think I made up these stories and had actors. But after me putting thousands, thousands on my Snapchat, not 10, not 20, I see some people teaching business stuff and they're like, here's my top 20 results. I'm like, I can't even, I can't even follow them all. There's so many. But it's the best part of my life really in terms of my altruistic stuff. Like I like giving people money. I've given away a crazy amount of money. I gave away 10 or 12 cars the other year. Like I've given away so much stuff. But the coolest part is not giving somebody a fish. It's when now I see that people know how to fish for themselves. This program is for real. Amazon is for real. Krish Muno, here's somebody right here. Ty, your, your Airbnb home sharing course is amazing. Got two clients already. He actually says it's swell, okay? Um, if you don't believe that Amazon works, just look who's the richest person in the world. And remember, the way Jeff Bezos gets rich is he takes a portion of your money that you create on Amazon. So it's not a Ponzi scheme, it's not network marketing, it's not an MLM, it's a simple affiliate system. Everything you sell betters his life. And so you make an ally out of the richest man in the world who has the most resources of any human in history. And he's got a website and he'll partner with you. Why wouldn't you sell something on Amazon? It just doesn't make sense to me unless you're sheep. Unless you're sheeple, you know? Just because I know a better dive. We'll yeah, so. okay. So we're gonna wrap it, go ahead and wrap it up on Instagram. Click the link, go to mytylopez.com, it's right in the home homepage. Um, Ty, do you honor the 30 day guarantee money back someone bought extra by accident? Yes. Yep, Tom, Tom, I'm in your program, we're taking notes, common sense stuff, awesome. But remember, common sense is, no, is not always applied. Common sense is not helpful until it is applied. That is the key thing. You see, you might know things. I meet a lot of people who already know this. I'm like, but are you doing it? Ty, e-commerce is too saturated. You are incorrect, Yash Granzor, and I'm gonna tell you why you're incorrect. So many people each day, for the first time, buy something online. There's still hundreds of millions of people billions in this world that haven't bought things online. And as they switch over, markets expand, whether they be in India, in Central South America, whether it be in Eastern Europe, in Africa, all and even within the United States, there's still a crazy amount of people who spend most of their money in stores. Amazon is only 5% of American retail sales, 5%. 95% is either other websites or at least 50% people still go into stores. But that changes every day, and Amazon's market share and e-commerce's market share is going up. This is not right. It sounds good to say, it ain't right. Ty, when are you hitting up Poland? We love you. Man, I haven't been to Poland in a while. I went to Poland in like two, it's a great place. 
I went to a club in Warsaw. Zach, you would like you would like Poland. I'm down for it. You actually kind of look Polish. You watch your mouth. It's like a lot of blonde, it's like a lot of white people. Oh, oh. <laughs> a lot of Catholics. They're mostly Catholic. But I'll tell you one thing about Poland that I was not used to. Polish people. It's cold when I was there, right? I'm there in the winter. You go in like a little, my friend had an apartment. A little apartment, went to a house party, this girl's house. They close the doors and everybody smokes cigarettes in a little living room. I was like, I told him, I said, dude, we Ameri we, I'm from California. We, we, our lung, we still have cilia or whatever on our lungs. We still have those little hairs that we can, <laughs> like, we haven't burned those off yet, my friend. So he took me to a club outside. It's a fun place. By the way, all of you, you don't got kids, you don't, you're not married, make some money online and go travel the world and don't come back until you just are like seeing the whole world. That is my best advice to people. That is my advice. Uh, people out there telling you just grind away. Nah, don't just grind away. Don't live a balanced life. 100% grinding is for fools. Fools. Because you never know how long you have on this earth. Steve Jobs, if he could be back on earth, I guarantee you he wouldn't work so hard. Because he died in his, what, 40s, right? What was he? 50. Was he 50? Yeah, was like 47. I promise you, if, if he came back, he would do things different. Don't live a life that you would do things different. Do it right now. There is no coming back. Steve Jobs ain't back. He used to say, he died of, how old? 56. 56. But he was sick before that. He was, it was not, he would do it all over again. So just do it now. Am I saying that you shouldn't grind? No, grind, grind, and enjoy. Grind, and enjoy. I grind, you think I don't grind? <laughs> you know, nothing. I'm grinding right now, but I don't only grind. The greatest thinkers of all time, the greatest thinkers of all time, whether it be Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, you know what they clearly tell people? Simplest advice ever, live a balanced life. But if your money's not going well for you, you better figure that out. Ty's a grinder and a lover. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Hey, I'd rather be considered more than one thing. Don't be one-sided, man. Just making money only is so boring. I mean, I remember I've made a million dollars in a year. I figure I've done it in a week. I've done it in a day, and I've done it in an hour. It's overrated, man. It's overrated. Overrated. You guys ready to head out? Yep, I'm ordering the Uber now. Like really? 30, well, 30, you know, last time oh, like yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> Josh is ready to go. <laughs> Somebody said that's what rich guy would say. Are you speaking in caveman? language that's what rich guy would say or maybe you're not from america so i shouldn't make fun of you but if you're from america you got to have a little bit of grammar i'm going to start speaking like that someone said josh take a nap they could hear you <laughs> i'm going to start speaking in aborigine all amazon do grind only no <laughs> good life yes <laughs> health good body Wealth, good bank, <laughs> love, good woman, happy, good brain. Remember that one? What's the thing from um, where uh, I got a g g good brain? Remember that? Tropic, Tropic Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Man, I was dating this girl. I saw this. I used to live in Vegas for a little while. I'll never live in Vegas for long. It will corrupt your soul. But I lived there for like four months, and I met this uh, this girl. Uh, she was Filipino, I remember. You probably knew her. Marion. Remember Marion? I don't think you lived out in California. Anyway, she was pretty. She won Miss California or something one time. But she was just like, forget look. She was like funny. She's like, she came to visit me in Vegas. She's like, Ty, we got to go see this movie. What year was Tropic Thunder? Ah, I've been trying to figure out what year I lived in Vegas. That will be the revelation. I've been trying to, f I cannot remember. I try to not think about the past. I cannot remember. Eight. See, that's when I thought I lived in Vegas. Okay. 
I have to go by landmark. We went to this theater. I used to live at the Signature Towers before they had like the Aria and all that. And I'm there, and we went, and she's like, you gotta see this movie. And I was like, why? And at that time, when they have a trailer at the beginning of Tropic Thunder, when, when uh, Ben Stiller plays like a dumb, uh, like he's basically handicapped. And they have a scene, he's like, I got a good, 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 good brain. She thought that was the funniest thing. She laughed for days over that. So I got that permanently stuck on my head. Now, you know, he got, in tr he like did apology for that. For making fun of retarded people. I mean, you can't do that anymore. We don't live in that world anymore where you can laugh anymore. It's somebody always, I guess you can't laugh at people, but what else are you going to laugh at? <laughs> You laugh at animals? You shouldn't laugh at animals either. Dogs with shoes on. on. Can't we just laugh at everybody? Did this, yes. this make died. I think this died. Yeah, make fun of everything. I don't even know if anybody's watching anymore because I can't <laughs> see my comments. They're all gone. And I'm all lowly here. You guys should just play a trick on me and just be like, yeah, we're cut. I mean, or, no, no, don't tell me. Yeah, Ty, we're still on, but cut. See how long I just babble here for. People, I'm not getting any sales, Zach. I don't understand it. I've been here for 45 minutes. Not one person is interested in the Amazon sales blueprint. What have I done? Zach has luscious hair. Somebody knows how to kiss up to Zach. What's funny is Zach's face, he gets depressed and happy simultaneously because he's happy that he's getting attention as a Leo, but he's depressed because he remembers the times when he had lustrous hair. He looks over at Josh. I love that I have you two working together. It's my punishment of Zach. Zach just looks over. No, I feel like he doesn't envy your hair because you're dark hair Latin guy, and he feels like us Latin people just... Nat heat, but you see an old white guy walk by with hair, Zach lusts. Like, like Sam Harris in the Lady Gaga movie. Not Sam Harris, who's the guy in the Lady Gaga? Sam Elliott, that old dude. That guy's had a good head of hair. I saw a movie 20 years ago, Sam Elliott. That guy hadn't aged. What the hell's wrong with him? He looked. He's got some Viking blood in him. No, but he looked 60 when he was like 22, and he still looks 60 at 93. I think that guy is like frozen Benjamin Button. Kurt Russell's also got a great head of hair. How old's Kurt Russell? Like 60, 70 yeah, or something. No, he's 60. And look, Zach, he gets Catherine Zeta Jones. No, that's uh, Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas. Oh, wrong guy. He does have a good does head Michael head. Douglas? <laughs> so, Zach's theory is that women no longer love him. Zach, can some woman say that they loved him? Is Zach Mexican? <laughs> Zach is lusty. Instagram Live doesn't work. I know, I shut it off, I forgot. What about The Rock? Totally bald, see? Women love The Rock. All you need is massive biceps. And, and Jason Statham. Statham? Yeah, he's actually... Yeah, there you go, Zach. Look, oh, I got... No, I have somebody. Hey, you want to have women love you when you don't have hair? Let's bring this all around right here. The most handsome... The most handsome man in the world. There's no ugly billionaire, Zach. There you go. <laughs> okay, Zach, question for you. Would you become Jeff Bezos if you were the richest man in the world, but you have to look exactly like that and be, how old is he, 60? No. Yes or no, Zach? No. Okay. Um, okay, would you be, let's say, Zach uses Luxie hair. Zach uses Luxie <laughs> hair. Please let Zach use Luxie. Okay, I better go. We're going to say something we regret if we keep going too long. <laughs> Why does Jeff Bezos have a true B.I.? <laughs> he does. Maybe. He has like a, he has like a, like a lazy Inspector Gadget like <laughs> thing. What'd that one comedian say? We saw that movie. He's like, you're one hook hand away from being a Bond villain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is one hook hand. Jeff Bezos yeah. is one metallic hook hand away from being a perfect Bond villain. Is. Zach is Lex over Luthor. there. Pull up Lex he looks just <laughs> like him. What it? Okay, we got a new conspiracy theory. 
Which which Lex Luthor though? The best. Just any. Oh man, what's what's the old one that played Lex? Oh, Gene Gene Hackman in the original movie. This dude isn't. He? Oh, John Cryer played him. Telly Savalas. No, I think they're just showing men that look like they could be Lex Luthor. Well, that's who looks there. like Lex Luthor. Yeah. yeah Ke- Kevin Spacey. Are we allowed to talk about Kevin Spacey anymore? Okay. I'll see you. Somebody's asking if I'm single or Zach single. (laughs) Somebody wrote, Jeff Bezos has a big willy. (laughs) That made Zach laugh. Please tell me you're not looking up his text pictures. The Lex Lex from Smallville. Smallville. Jeff Bezos is Dr. Evil. That's actually... Wait a sec. Let me go back here. We're probably going to all get kicked off Amazon. We'll never be able to sell. <laughs> He's going to see this live stream. Okay, there. Let's see Dr. Evil. <laughs> you got your messages showing. Oh. <laughs> kind of. uh, yeah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Jeff, if you're watching this, I'm defending your honor, my friend. Jeff Bezos can see the future with the eye. That's it. Uh, okay. Ty, you plan to come to the Netherlands? I hope so. The only time I've been to the Netherlands is when I was in Paris with my friend Herman. I said, you buy the tickets back to Stockholm, Sweden. He bought them. I didn't look at them. We landed in the wrong country. I said, what did you do? He goes, I thought you said, he said, I thought Amsterdam was the same as Stockholm. <laughs> He goes, aren't they close? We'll just drive. You know how far Amsterdam is? It's like 1,000 miles from Stockholm. We had to buy another ticket. Never let a Leo. He's another Leo in my life. Leos get tired and lazy. So he probably was looking online to buy my ticket, then slowly was fading away, and whatever was up there, he's like, Amsterdam, Amsterdam. And he had already entered his name and all that, so he didn't want to redo the work. So he's like, fuck it, we'll just rent a car and drive. I'm like, it's a 17-hour drive or whatever. New York to Miami. See you guys. Gemini.